In this tutorial, we will teach you the basics of making shapes in Adobe After Effects CS6. First of all, move to the Composition menu, right-click, and select New. Here you will be shown a number of options, amongst which select the Shape Layers option. This layer allows you to create different shapes within one layer. Once the shape layer is created, you will see a blue dot appearing on the preview monitor, showing that the shape tool is selected. We can change the shapes by moving to the shape tool from the menu on the top, clicking and pressing the Q button on the keyboard to select the rectangle shape tool. Now move to the preview monitor and draw the rectangle by clicking and dragging the cursor towards the right side of the screen. Once the rectangle is drawn, you can change its color and stroke by moving to the fill menu on the top. Select your desired color and reduce the stroke size to 2. This option is present next to the fill option. You can also change the color of the stroke from the stroke menu. Once done, move to the shape toolbar again and select the rounded rectangle shape from the menu. Draw the figure on the canvas and to customize it, simply repeat the previous steps. Now you can see both the shapes are present in a single layer, i.e. shape layer 1. This means that as we select the rounded rectangle shape and move it, both the shapes will move accordingly. In order to select a specific shape on the layer, select it from the layer panel towards the left side, appearing before the timeline. You can also configure the settings of the shape before actually drawing it on the canvas. If no layer is selected while drawing a shape on the canvas, Adobe After Effects automatically creates a new layer in the document. You can check out the rest of the shapes as well, i.e. the star and polygon shapes. Note that you can also convert your shapes into 3D. All you have to do is tick on the checkboxes to enable the cube from the layers panel, rotate them, and position them on all of the three axes, i.e. X, Y, and Z. They can also be animated by applying keyframes on the layers.